Time now for the KSL In-Depth. Uh, the stock market has been a bit crazy the last week or so, but now might be a good time to buy stock in Kleenex. <laughs> That's a joke, obviously. I'm not a financial planner. But here's the thing. The warm winter in Utah has actually caused trees to start putting on pollen weeks ahead of normal. That means people's allergies are going nuts. I noticed, interestingly, in January, I have some aspens, and they were starting to bud already with the little little furry things that create the pollen. That was in January. That's real early. Trees are all confused now, but it's the, the season has now started. That's Dr. Alan Bittner, an allergy expert with Intermountain Healthcare. He says people who are sensitive to tree pollen have probably felt it already. Typically, if they're very allergic to tree pollen, they'll start getting the typical hay fever symptoms with itchy eyes, runny nose, and sneezing. And uh, it, it can get pretty miserable for those who have very significant allergies. For those people who have asthma, it sometimes is also allergy triggered, and so they may start having issues with their asthma also. So in other words, if you've been feeling under the weather the last week or so, it might not be the cold or flu. Dr. Bittner says now that the trees are producing pollen, they'll keep on doing so even if the weather dips down to more typical February temperatures. This is an exceptional year. Depending on what the weather does now, from now on, if you have a these kind of warm sunny days that you'll see the pollen counts go up. As Soon as we get some storms, either rain or snow, that'll press the count down, but the trees will still continue to develop their pollen. As soon as it warms up a little bit, then it'll come out and it'll go high again. The tree pollen season usually runs three or four months in the spring before grass pollens take over in the summer. People who are dealing with allergy symptoms now can get relief by using over-the-counter antihistamines or seeing a doctor for prescription treatments in severe cases.